Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Our Taxi episode number 8. Alright, uh, the previous episode, a lot of things happened and yeah, it was like so many things happened. Like first of all, the whole thing with um, Daimon, you know, the Daimon, the younger Daimon and he, we always see him actually like, you know, listening to his older brother. But this time, uh, Odokawa goes to him and asks for his help and also tells him how his brother is like you know doing bad stuff and you know like how he is going to try to trap um dobu and you know a lot of things and uh, it's really like you know it's really great to see that odokawa actually is not thinking about helping dobu he is he has a plan of his own and uh, you know like daimon is also i'm, I'm guessing going to help him in like, you know in in, a, in some way and uh, there's this whole little thing with uh, the mm, you know uh, oh uh, ag gets captured by yano that's another big thing that happened and we still don't know what yano is actually trying to do by capturing ag and there's this you know like parallelly with that there's this whole thing of we can see that like you know the body people are getting kidnapped and there's like dead bodies like you know uh, people uh, to the police are finding dead bodies and like both of them kind of happening parallelly kind of gives a weird feeling of is the same thing going to be uh, going to happen to ag are, are is yano doing this like you know, it gives you that feeling and like you know there's a lot of mystery still like why uh, the the manager guy is doing this first of all like you know like you know this whole badger game and then you know what is yano how is yano involved in this what are they even trying to do and a lot of other stuff as well so yeah like that was a very like what can i say uh that episode has a lot of things oh another big thing uh oluka has some kind of a problem some sickness or something in his brain so hopefully it's not life-threatening and maybe hopefully it's a false alarm like i don't want him dying in by the end of this anime i really don't want that so yeah that's another big thing so yeah all this stuff so let's see what this episode brings okay another thing i'll probably be uh taking out the opening portion like i'll be watching it obviously and if you are like you know using uh your own video playing your own, the own video and syncing it to my video you'll have no problem but uh, during the opening scene i'm going to take the opening out because in the previous video uh even with all the blurring and you know the, the thing that i usually do to the videos uh, the edited video it's still got copyright uh you know like flagged and that's why i'm i'm not showing the opening at all from this episode onwards so that's one thing that i just wanted you guys to know so yeah oh and so also another thing um like this is like a personal request from me from me uh if you have not subscribed be sure to do so we like you know i'm almost very close to 1k subscribers uh 110 subscribers left i think i'm currently at an 890 or something like that so if you are not subscribed please be sure to do so it'll help me a lot so yeah so anyways let's get started this is episode number uh eight yes eight of our taxi so yeah so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go. all right as i said the uh the video will be taken out from here so that it does not trigger the copyright bots. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. I think I notice one thing. Is this Yano rapping? You know the the section where we see Yano on his little scooter thing, and the rap comes up. Is that actually Yano rapping? That'll be kind of really cool in a way. <laughs> oh wait, the opening was quite quite short. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Bless you. Good. Oh, they didn't know that? Ooh. 
wow. Damn. Oh. Oh no. Ah. God. Uyuki Yamamoto. Wait, Yamamoto? Yeah. Oh yeah, he gave him the number, I think. All right. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's the same guy. Oh my god. Wow, Dobu's here. Yo. This is a big chance for Dobu. Oh, okay. Huh. God. Hmm. Yeah. One billion yen. Okay. Okay, this is not that that girl, the black furred cat girl, not 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 her. <laughs> One who likes hot springs. Hmm. <laughs> it's the uh, idols. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, didn't know that? <laughs> One billion. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> yeah. You know what that implies? Yeah, we yeah, we don't want to give it to you. <laughs> Nine hundred million, yo. Who is it? Okay. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> wow okay ah hopefully he doesn't send uh, you know people to actually steal it from him or take it from him forcibly like he has connections with Yano so oh boy Oh god, it feels so bad for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh.
Oh no. Oh. Oh god, come on. God, what the hell is Can you tell who this is? What? It's AG, isn't it? Wait, who's talking about this? Is this Goriki? Yeah, it's Goriki. Kakihana, who's that? Is that Eiji's last name? That's Eiji, isn't it? What? Synesthesia, what? Wait, I... One sense is still there. What? Wait, what's happening here? Figment of his... Oh! Impian. Oh. oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Homo sapiens. Okay. This is how they met. Thirty eight. <laughs> oh really oh wow this guy Psychic. <laughs> He's so what? What? It's joking, isn't it? Soul and body or so. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. What? Oh, wait. Oh, okay, never mind. Memory. Wait, so he has good memory, that means. Huh? 
Oh God. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Quiz. <laughs> That's AG, isn't it? Okay. Impression. Got it on stop and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what? That's Chirakawa. Wait, is this related to his problem? Oh no. Oh god. Yeah, someone else is snooping around. Yes. Ah. Uh. What the God? Oh. Oh my god. So wow. <laughs> wow. He yeah. God. He wants to sleep now. <sighs> oh, my God.
These guys. Wow, this guy, he, he was... This is sick in a way. He is... Obviously, like, the things that he's doing... God... Hello... Oh. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. Ah, uh, what? How? Is recording? Oh, is that, yeah, he's, he's trying to rob him. The guy who won the... Hmm. Okay, there you go, yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, but Yano will still come. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. He wants it from his mouth. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Alright, nice. Okay, come on. Uh, come on. Okay. Oh, wow.
Okay, come on. Nice. There you go. There you go. Uh. All right. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's super scary. True. Edit it and re upload it. <laughs> e Takes over the country. Whoa! Um, what's... Someone in front of them? Wait, what? Not that, the previous one! No, not that. Wait, what? Wait, is that like a... Oh! Okay, okay, um... I forgot for a moment there that AG showed him the picture. Yeah, I forgot it for a moment. As soon as he... Alright, alright, okay. <laughs> Boy, okay, he, he realized it now. And okay, now everything's going to make sense to him. Odokawa, especially. Because he knows that these people are connected to Yano and... Uh, you know, the, the, the cat, the Calico cat. Uh, uh, the idol. She is connected to uh, AG like that. And AG is not, you know, when picking up his phone. All these kind of things are going to make sense to him now. And, uh, all right, okay. Okay, so basically, I thought like, the, like you know, the, now the spring has finally come. That was like a trigger to him, which made him actually recall what happened before. Because Aiji said the same thing to Odokawa. And, uh, all right. Okay, so, this episode. First of all, we see uh, now. Obviously, we can understand, like you know, we can kind of understand what's happening. Like I was really confused in the previous episode because I thought that why are they kidnapping Ag when they know that he doesn't have anything with him? And then I, like you know, like I, I, I think I was under the wrong impression. I thought that the people who he who he took the loan from were actually Yano's people. And I think that's not it, that means, you know, like, and that's why, like, you know, I was always under this wrong impression. I thought the people who he took the loan from were Yano's people. Wait, they are Yano's people, aren't they? Because the loan sharks came in and they are the ones who kidnapped him. Ah, uh, isn't it? Then why does it, why do they not know that AG actually told a lie because he was taking loan for himself and he wasn't even able to pay it back so i'm guessing like you know they should have heard from the loan sharks that there's this guy who we are kid trying to kidnap is the guy who actually took loan from us and does not oh no it was oh sorry okay i understood now uh it was not the loan sharks who kidnapped him I, I was making a wrong okay yeah that was that was I think that was, I was under the wrong impression now what what I thought was that the loan like you know when when they came knocking at Yano's door uh, at Eiji's door I thought those were the loan sharks but the loan sharks came before you know when they tried to take the money from him take back the money from Eiji uh, like you know mm, pretended he was not at home 
But when he gets kidnapped, those are not the loan sharks. Sorry about that. Like I, I was, I kind of, I was kind of thinking that the loan sharks are actually Yano's men. And if that is, that was really the case, I was really, like you know, confused as to why, as to why the why Yano's men are actually even trying to kidnap Eiji when they are the ones who gave him the loans and they are the ones who actually knows that Eiji is actually broke. So that kind of really confused me. Okay, so the loan sharks and the Yano's people are actually different. All right. Okay. Okay. So that's what happened. All right. And uh, okay. Now it really makes sense now. Like they did not actually know that AG was lying all throughout. And that's why they were actually trying to kidnap him for, I'm guessing they would have asked for a ransom or you know, money from him. So now that they found out that he has actually told a lie. Now I, I, I mean, like, you know, one thing I'm really, uh, what can I say? Like, it's really weird that this never happened to them before. You know, because there's a lot of people who actually lie to, like, you know, uh, you know, especially in these type of situations, there's a lot of people who actually lie about their age, about their, you know, uh, as he lied, you know, about their salary and everything to actually woo girls, you know, to actually go and, um, like, you know, they act as, a, like, as if, like, he, like, you know, he's like a tough person and uh, what else, like, you know, as, as, acts as if he has a lot of money, whereas, like, you know, in the background, he's actually like you know trying to gather money from I don't know his life savings or something. Like that's actually a lot of the times that actually happens. So it's really weird that this never happened to them before when they like you know the, this whole badger game thing. I'm guessing they they were doing this for quite a long while. So it's weird that it never happened to them before. It like it really seemed that they really were surprised when they actually realized that AG was not you know. Um, as rich as he claimed to be okay um anyways yeah now <clears throat> here obviously like you know like it's really uh, what can i say very sad like ag like you know like ag uh, but he he's like he's a grown up man you know i think he's 42 years old so like he should have known better you know that not to you know not to do these type of things like the foolishness that, that he did he should have known better but at the same time um yeah he made a mistake a very big mistake he you know he really trusted um the girl and it feels very bad for him like i don't know like like he he's he's the biggest like you know person he's the person who lost the most over here you know he he took out everything from his bank account took loans you know endangered himself just for the for a girl and in the end he actually realizes that the girl was actually fooling him and she has been doing this on you know some kind of orders for some like you know criminal group and now he has been kidnapped he has been threatened to be killed and like you know like everything is like going downhill for him and yeah it's really really bad like i really hope they get the justice you know especially uh like each and every one of them who are really involved in this whole big messy situation like um like Do obviously dogu is also a criminal but here like the things that they're doing like especially like everyone each and every one of them the manager and the person like you know like even even the girl is a little bit uh, what can i say uh guilty in a way because like you know like even though she's saying that i don't want to do this anymore she she still did it you know so like what else can i say it, it, even she is a little bit guilty um obviously the main girl i'm sure she also knows whatever is happening you know in, in the background like every one of them, each and every one of them who's involved in this whole thing, um, uh, Yano, the, the the guy, the bodyguard guy as well. Like I really hope that by the end of this series, they like you know they really get the punishment that they deserve because this is really sick in a way because like the manager is basically trying to like you know like what can I say like is doing this to so that mystery kids can gain more uh, people to, to like you know uh, gain more audience and they he wants to make them famous that's why like you know doing this kind of shady jobs in in the background and 
yeah very bad what else can i say and hopefully nothing happens to ac he is able to you know he's able to what can i say stay alive as an, uh, uh, unless and until odukawa comes to save him i'm sure odukawa will do something after this because after after he, he knows he realizes this now so i'm sure he'll try to do something he'll either i'm sure he, he's probably trying going go and try to contact daimon the younger one and ask him for the help so yeah anyways okay that's that and uh, okay now here's another thing okay synesthesia what what does that actually mean just a sec um synesthesia is a neurological condition in which information meant to stimulate one of your senses stimulates several of your senses oh people who have synesthesia are called synesthes synesthes can often see music as colors oh really when they hear it and taste textures like round or pointy when they eat food oh wow i did not know this okay okay wait a minute okay this makes okay godi kind of explains that but i really was unable to properly get what he was saying all right here it okay first of all he sends him the mess uh, not message uh, yeah message where uh, ag is there like like that obviously i'm also able to realize that's ag you know like yeah like even though it was a silhouette the structure of the body like that's ag definitely um okay then what goriki says is okay can you tell from this photo that this is kakihana I guess I'd believe you if you told me to say what no that's definitely AG like what like the silhouette really says that that's AG like why are they confused looking at it you know the little thing in his head there's two little things here it was if it was some normal silhouette I could have understood but it clearly shows that it's AG and they are really acquainted enough to actually realize that's AG. Like that's what I'm kind of confused about. Like they're acting as if like when they're, they're, like when they're talking with each other. Like Shirakawa says that if you told me it was AG, I would have understood. Like why? Like you can you can just tell and say that's AG. That's that's kind of conf I really did not get this portion. I'm not sure. Like is it really that difficult to like actually? figure out that that's ag i don't know but anyways okay like that's not the point here the actual point is that uh okay here is the thing that goriki says um okay it, it only took Odoka a second to identify identify him does this okay tell anything about him uh, at first i thought odokawa had an exceptional memory but it doesn't feel right you're right it's i thought maybe he has good instincts Hmm. Okay, it's almost like synesthesia. There you go. Uh, one sense is simulated, different sense is triggered. Seeing colors or feeling textures when you hear sounds or see letters. Maybe Odukawa has some kind of indicator for telling people apart and is basing it on that. Wait, what? people can tell people apart by oh i'm guessing he's talking about the silhouette because is it really that difficult to actually tell the silhouettes apart i don't know okay but anyways like according to goriki here he says that odokawa is actually not memorizing people but actually the synesthesia like you know it's kind of like an instinct he has and he is basing everything on that that's what he's saying here Okay, Shiraga says that I don't know if this is related, but apparently Odokawa's son has been speaking. Okay, not this one. Okay, we know who this is. Okay, here Goriki tells something about an imaginary friend and uh, pigment of imagination. He tells him about uh, Odokawa's past where he was abandoned 
when he was in grade school and uh, okay he you know some orphanage people took him in okay he says that that's an imaginary friend but i don't think that that's actually it like i've told this before but i think that's like a, there's a cat in it because the opening clearly shows us that there is like a little cat inside that closet so who knows maybe i'm wrong maybe that's maybe that is really his imagination i'm not sure but i don't think that's like you know that's something that we should uh, focus about here because the main thing here that we should focus about is so so wait so does this mean that Ozaka actually has this kind of condition the synesthesia that they're talking about so all right so like they're not sure here obviously like Koriki says that it, it seems as if it's synesthesia so he doesn't actually know that if it is synesthesia or not that he like you know that Odokawa has so that's the thing like he might be wrong here but usually in these type of situations the doctors are definitely like you know not wrong most of the time they're usually correct so I'm guessing that means uh, Odokawa has synesthesia that means uh, Wait, what's, what does that even mean? Oh, wait, is, is this the problem that they were talking about? Wait, uh, okay, okay, wait a minute. Uh, in the previous episode, he said something like treating Odokawa. I, is this the thing that they were talking about, the synesthesia? Like, oh, wait, I, I thought like maybe it was some kind of a, um, you know, some kind of a illness in, in the brain or something, some kind of life-threatening something. If it is like the synesthesia that they were talking about, that's not life-threatening, I guess. Then I, I'm, I'm guessing Otokawa is safe. That's one thing that I'm really stressing about. I really don't want him to die by the end of the anime, you know. So, okay. So if it is like like this type of some kind of uh, kind of condition that he has, which is not life-threatening, then okay. Like then obviously Goriki and Shiakawa can look into that, and I'm guessing they can they cannot try to cure him. And I'm not even sure if this synesthesia is actually something that. You should cure like is, is it really some i'm guessing it is some kind of a little bit of an inconvenience maybe not like uh, i don't know i'm really not so sure because like this is like a whole like you know different thing like like a uh, what do you call it like you know a psychological thing that's happening and i really don't have any idea if, if synesthesia really has some kind of any what do you call it like uh, some kind of bad effects or does it really affect your livelihood so much that you need to cure it? Because as far as I could understand, it says that it actually stimulates other senses when one, one of your other senses is stimulated. For example, uh, like, you know, if you, like, if you listen to music, you can kind of visualize it, you know, like visualize the colors if you see it. Uh, no, no, sorry, not uh, color, sorry. Visualize the music into colors or something like that. So it's kind of unique in a way so that's why i don't know if is is it really something that i'm guessing it it is something that i it needs to be cured as i said i have no idea about these type of things and it's like pure medical like you know like what can i say uh like going into medical territory which i really have no idea about but i'm guessing it is something that they need to cure that because they are kind of like talking about it so yeah so maybe okay okay so that's that's probably it and uh, i oh, i like you know i really hope that it that the whole thing that they said in the previous episode it, like you know like he has some kind of problem in his brain it's not life-threatening and it's basically something harmless like this and i'm not even sure if synesthesia is harmless i'm just saying but you know if it is something like this which is not life-threatening then it's a relief that you know like he is not but I think in the previous episode, uh, Olokawa was kind of, like, you know, when he was sleeping, like, something happened to him, I can't, you know, like, it's kind of, uh, anyways, I'm getting confused, but alright, I think that, like, you know, the, the, the disease that they were talking about in the previous, the inless, was actually this, and um, let's see, I'm sure Goriki will do something about it, Goriki and Shirakawa. And uh, okay, so wait a minute. So in the next scene, when we see the flashback, uh, was that the reason why um, Shira, uh, you know, Odokawa was able to 
tell who Goriki was. Like you know, from, like he's an uh, what do you call it? Uh, he's a doctor. Like he said something by the end of it. Like at the beginning, he was kind of joking around, saying stuff like "I can see souls" and stuff. I'm guessing, but uh, by the end, he says that actually, uh, Goriki actually. Uh, I think what what did he say? Like Goriki actually traveled in his taxi once before. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. He says here it is. He just had me as a passenger before. So you thought it was his memory. Yeah, that's why he made a mistake. He thought that it was basically maybe he had like you know exceptional memory. But he's now thinking that this is uh, synesthesia. That that was actually happening to him. All right. Okay. That that section ends there. And all right. So the next part. Um, okay. Goriki and uh, Odokawa ha has some meal. And now they like you know he conducts some kind of little tests. I think first of all the whole thing with Ag. Like I still am unable to understand why. Like you know like okay I get it. Like Odokawa is able to understand that it's Ag. But I myself am able to understand that that's Ag from the silhouette. So why is Goriki and uh, uh, what's her name? Shirakawa. Unable to understand that it's uh, Eiji from looking at the picture. Like, is it that really that difficult to actually figure out that that's Eiji? I don't know. But, uh, like, you know, according, I'm guessing according to Goriki, that is really something exceptional that Odukawa did. So, like, you know, that's the first test that they do. Okay, then the next test. Okay, then and then uh, then the uh, the lady also says something like he also remembers the customers' faces that I don't even uh, re recognize. Okay, um, then he gives him the message. This is the second test. Got it? I'll stop by later. There's a message there, and he says that can you understand what this is. Obviously, Odokawa cannot understand. I'm guessing that was also another test to actually. figure out yeah like uh, the lady says is this like a psychic test or something because it also feels like that to me it means as if like he's trying to find out if he's a psychic or not okay now next the next experiment there's a bird and he asks him what it is and Odoka says that it's a bird I I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure what type of experiment that was, but I'm guessing it it, it, it's, it is something that is um, important for Goriki to ascertain whether Odokawa has synesthesia or not. Okay, the next one. All right, so here it is. Shirakawa with her... What was that? The, the blindfold. Now, obviously, we can say that and see that it's Shirakawa. We can see the face and everything. Uh, only her... <laughs> I is hidden. So I'm guessing that's also another test that he was experiment that he was doing on him. Okay, so yeah, that was the end of the experiments that he tried on him. Now I'm sure this has some kind of deeper meaning to Goriki because obviously he's a doctor. He knows like you know what to test and what not to do. So I'm sure he understood something from this and he'll be able to figure out what his actual disease like illness is and what it is and how to counteract it or something i'm sure that, that was the reason why he was trying all this okay that was that and then the whole thing with uh, ag starts and uh, okay and then uh, uh like you know the yamamoto tells uh, yano about the whole one billion thing yano really figures out very quick that it's dobu you know and uh, so like you know th yeah that's that and i feel bad for ag like you know the whole scene with when you know yano calls his mom and he's like crying and everything oh god all right okay so then the next one uh kawasawa okay here 
Kabasa, like I, I really feel very what can I say? Like sick, like in a way, like the whole thing that he like he's basically like the thing that he's doing here is not ethical ethnic ethically, yeah, ethically, not ethically correct at all. Like first thing he does is like you know Okay, here it is. He says that but one of our victims uh, members became his victim. So let's everyone uh, corner Dobu. Okay. If you'd like to help, please join the Kawasawa online salon. We are trying to break 10,000 members. For a limited time, the monthly fee is just 10,000 yen. Anyway, didn't that video strike you? Sick. Like, what? Like, in the middle of this, he just says that one of our members, you know, is like, you know, like, got, uh, well, you know, attacked by Dobu. And he, I think he said something like, oh, like, I, I like, you know, I, I was, and, 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 I wasn't able, I able to do anything. Okay, what does he say at that moment? Just a sec. All right, no, you know, like he, he's acting as if he was not there in the scene. He's acting as if he's like the face of justice or whatever the hell. He was there, you know, he obviously like, like, I, like, you know, like, just like, just like, like, what can I say? I don't know, like, it's, it's like a, a way for him, a way for him to actually go more viral, get more members whatever that he's trying to do like you know like in, in this type of a critical situation he's basically plugging in his um the whole uh, like you know like join my group ten thousand yen you know the price of actually getting into the group like he's basically linking his patreon account you know in the in the middle of this like you know video where he is basically like you know talking about like a whole like you know, something serious like this that's happening it's sick and like he was not like this when we first saw him in the beginning you know he was just like a, a guy who wanted to become viral and how fame changes people like he he, he like, like it's disgusting to actually see him like you know like do these type of stunts now And he's like, you know, like he's crossing his line now in a lot of ways. And I'm like, you know, I'm sure that like, he's going to get, what can I say, some kind of like, poetic justice about this in some way or the other. Either like, you know, Dobu will like catch him or something that'll happen. Or either the fans who are actually like, you know, his, his, his good fans, they'll actually realize that whatever he's doing is just like a sick stunt that he's doing to become viral and get more publicity and like you know cash in more money like either of those those two will happen and i think th like the the thing that's going to happen is probably that his fans are going to backlash because in the end we actually see them mentioning that um kawasawa is actually like you know the fans some of his fans are really getting mad at him because like, you know he's acting like this like and people are saying that he's like you know all talk and no like you know nothing he can do anything and he's just all talk so yeah like it, it's really I don't know the things that he's doing here like like obviously like the, the thing that he's doing like you know like telling people to actually join his group like it's like a monthly fee it's okay like you know if you do something like an honest work if you if you like you know if you're like you know uh what can I say like 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 we see as we see on YouTube people producing content for the their audience you know like there's some reaction channels and uh, there's some people who actually like you know do art do music they have a patreon account and they actually say that if you guys like my stuff go to my patreon you know uh, and like you know subscribe and like you know uh, there's like tier lists there and like all that type of things like they kind of say and that's okay because that's something that they are honest honestly doing that's the genuine whatever you can say like you know um thing that they are doing from from, from themselves and it's, it's not something built up on lies whatever he is doing is built up on lies basically 
he, he's just taking the opportunity to cash in a lot of money and get viral and like plugging in like, like saying that yeah like join my group this is like 10,000 yen this is the thing that really like you know like I, I, I'm really not happy about and it sickens me in a way so boy ah. okay that was Kawasawa, uh, uh, Kawasawa and then okay the next scene where we actually see Dobu and um, Otokawa talking you know um, like you know Dobu says stuff about like you know like going to the uh, like you know the, the bank you know and uh, like you know people are going to take in like the, the lottery like you know the, the 1 billion cash prize the, the person who won it is going to come and take it Yanom will be there that's why they'll be there like you know as you know trying to catch Yano all that kind of things they have the plan there and Otokawa did a really good job to actually you know record the whole conversation he even made him take Daimon's name and also um, Yano's name as well and, uh, and also like mentioned that which Daimon the older one or the younger one like, that's very intelligent and then like you know he, he doesn't even stop at this he actually clicks a photo of the and using the like you know sneeze as like a way to distract the like you know the shutter sound and wow that was risky but job well done i guess like you know and he even sent it to daimon the younger one so like yeah that's one part of the thing that that's all like you know wrapped up i guess in a way they have the evidence and it's all good nothing like you know dobu did not get alerted that uh, Odukawa is actually trying to do this and yeah everything is fine I think so up at least up until now and I hope it, it kind of goes that way and you know he actually succeeds in tricking Dobu and uh, hold like you know handing him over to the authorities okay and then he also like calls in the the lottery guy I can't remember his name you know and like you know warns him and that's when like you know the you know, the, the whole like, conversation like you know like spring has come to me he says and that triggers his memory and he actually realizes that the the cat you know the, the calico cat he is, is the same person that ag you know showed him and now everything is making sense they are connected to yano so he actually realized and ag is not picking up his phone so i'm sure odokawa realizes that ag is in trouble I'm sure he is going to do something about it in the next episode. And one thing, like you, we usually do not actually, like we usually forget, is it's really like you know, like, like it's very true that Olukawa has immense memory because he's a taxi driver. He has a lot of customers, and the people we are seeing here are a few of them who are handpicked. I'm sure he gets like hundreds of customer, if like you know, uh, except like you know, uh, uh, not what can I say. Like who are not these characters that we are seeing? We don't who we don't even know. So actually keeping their face in mind and remembering them is a big, very big deal. And he actually remembers. That's why I'm guessing he really was kind of struggling to remember the idol girl, you know? Because like you know, like however exceptional his memory is, he's actually handling so many customers that like you know every day. So obviously he's not going to remember each and every customer's face. But he's still very like, you know, like his memory is very sharp and uh, I'm guessing that's like a thing, the side effect of synesthesia that um, um, Goriki was talking about. So that's why like, you know, he can remember and yeah, he, he remembers now that the, that girl and the one that Eiji told, showed him is the same. So, yeah, wow, that was another amazing episode. So... Yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. So this was my, <coughs> excuse me. So this was my reaction to Odd Taxi episode number eight. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, I'll check them out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Odd Taxi. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.